file in an images folder. So I'm going to type in HTTP, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. I think it's been a long time. I may be wrong about that. www.kamakazmi.com, which is my website address, forward slash saying inside my website folder, go to the images folder, forward slash, and I had already copied the name of that file. I pasted it in here. Then it says, this is where the file is. Now if I click away, I click anywhere in the design area, whoa, it didn't show up. Interesting. Okay, so for some reason I wasn't able to see the image in here, but um, when I put the, the height and the width of the text of the image, um, within this image tag and this is an image tag and essentially what that means is the image tag tells you the different things about an image that you want to show here so one of those things was source which is where is this image coming from um, border zero means don't show me any border around the image title that's one of those things where or actually the all tag is one of those things where that helps with search engine optimization I don't know if you need to worry about that here but you know, I put kamikaze.com or something here. Um, and I entered the height, which was 153 pixels, and width, which is 598 pixels. And it just shows me this. Now, I can't view the image here, but if I go and preview this image in Explorer, um, you'll see that it's right there. And it says your company when I hover over it. If I changed the title tag of this image, where it says your company to kamakazmi.com and then view it in Explorer again you'll see it says kamakazmi.com and um, and you can have it where if you click on it it actually goes to your website as well and we I'll show you that later but let me not be too much information right now so let's just kind of stick to this so and then you can change all this text you know why are tigers so mean well why are Cosmi's tutorials so boring don't answer that but I can change that and there you go Mark Cosme's tutorials so boring and he does not know pop proper English structuring structuring if that's a word but anyway so there you get to see where I come and essentially <coughs> This I guess for a newsletter. I don't have to send it this way. You know, you could just have none of this. Um, and you can do a lot of editing right here in the design view, and remove all of this, and just have you know a high here, and then don't have anything under this, um, because you want to just create an email template for yourself whatever you want to write to that customer so this is kind of your text area now let's say you want a little signature on the bottom so for that you're going to say you know here's M Cosme um, and I want an image down here so you know when I do enter or backspace I'm trying to use this as a text editor but it's not really a good idea because it, it does stuff to the code it generates code and sometimes it generates codes that's not necessarily un it's not necessarily desirable but just to show you that you guys can do a lot in the design view without do doing any code because the program creates code for your actions committed in the design view sometimes uh, they're okay and sometimes they're not necessarily the best way to go but in this case it's not doing us too much damage now we want to put a signature our signature so what I'm assuming is you already have you have a scanner you already scanned your signature uh, and then you can crop your signature uh, in one of the um, image editing programs like Photoshop or Fire. And once you've done that, you have a little signature, something like this. I've got here Cosme.gif. I've saved it as a GIF file. I want it to be a small file. And uh, I'm going to transfer this file just like I transferred my other file, the images folder. I'm already in my images folder in the FTP program. And here's Cosme.gif. I'm going to transfer it to the other side. And here's the progression. And transfer is complete. I'm going to refresh the page by clicking on this little green icon right there. And what that means is it is on the server and a available for me to access. So I want to put my signature right under where it says M Cosme. And I already pressed enter. So here I am. But I want to add the code right here in the code view. And what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take the same reference of so the code that I had for this image right here and instead of writing all of this typing it out I'm just going to copy this one and I'm gonna go down here right here under my name I'm going to paste all of that code now be careful because you had the width and the height for the header in here and we don't want this to all get stretched out so let's just remove the height and the width uh, well actually instead of removing let's see what our height and width for the for our signature is it's 130 by 50 if I hover over the image well that's what I want it to be here 150 by shoot what was it I'm getting old 130 by 50 okay so 130 is the width and the height was 50 right and I've got a little reference here but now remember I still need to change the name of the image in the source because I copied it from the header it still has the headers name in here what was the name of my signature file is cosme.gif so I need to change this name with cosme instead of .jpg I want it to be .gif now I still don't see anything but if I preview this in Explorer I can see my signature right there and that's really it and that goes for everything else um, I wanted you guys to just have an idea what's the process you know now you can basically put any kind of image um, on in these columns um, you can add any kind of uh, content anywhere at all um, and the more you work with it the better you guys are gonna get with it. so there you go this is your web page just like any other um, it's like the other web page I showed you guys uh, that you uh, set that email template in Outlook and now you can set up this email template um, in Outlook as well so you file you save as you can save this file as uh, you know um, my company template and save it wherever you can find it and once you saved it you go over the tutorial about how to place a an email template in Outlook and you're good to go and let's go back to the process picture I think we kind of went through the FTP we um, move the files over to the server we make sure that we embed the location of the files in our email in our in our editor where the image needs to go and so you have generated that email template as you want it to be as you like it appear you can use that in any of these email programs and send it out to your clients um, this was my first attempt in trying to explain this process to you guys if I have left anything out that I do not see uh, obviously because when somebody has been doing something for a while they don't understand some of the questions that can uh, come up for somebody who is a novice and has not done this or has not used any of these tools so please uh, post your responses and if you have questions about anything I will help you guys out with that thank you and I hope you enjoyed this session of uh, how to create an email template.